What's up guys, Dalton here. Over the last half year or so, I've converted my van into a home on wheels with adventure in mind. I've been sharing what I've learned along the way here on YouTube. So here I am yet again to share some more. In this video, I wanna have an honest discussion about one of the smellier sides of van life, using the restroom. You see, van life isn't all about getting jacked, making loads of money, and chasing endless sunshine. I mean, for me it is, but that's not the case for most people. People turn to van life for all sorts of reasons. Maybe housing prices are just too high for you. Maybe you work remote and wanna do a little bit of traveling. Maybe you owe money to the wrong people and you're trying to make a getaway. Whatever your reasons are, we can all agree on one thing. Sooner or later, you're going to have to poop. Or pee. It sounded more dramatic when I just said poop though, huh? I don't know. That's where a van toilet comes into play. You think you're gonna find an open restroom at midnight after you just finished that leftover Thai food? You think you're gonna convince some baddie to come back to your van only for her to find out that you pee in an old milk jug? All right, so uh, are we doing this thing? Oh yeah. Actually, let me pee first. Where's your toilet? It's uh, right over there. This was a mistake. Wait! 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 <laughs> Good luck, buddy. It's not happening. Public toilets are great when you can find them, but they aren't always available. Sometimes they are available, but they're really disgusting. This is why having a toilet to call your own is in my opinion, essential for van life. Maybe you've already decided you want a toilet, but what to choose? There are so many options. When I first started looking at van toilets, I was overwhelmed. I knew I didn't want a toilet that used any weird chemicals. I didn't want a toilet that was gonna require an electrical hookup or any more holes to be cut in my van. I also didn't want to spend a boatload of money. After a vast amount of internet research, I discovered the composting separation toilet from Trollino. It checked all the boxes. This toilet was invented by Marcus Becker and Benedict Frank, named after Eggs Benedict. After spending over $2,000 on adult diapers in a single month, the duo realized they needed a solution. They couldn't find the toilet they wanted, so they made it. And that's the chair slash toilet that you see me sitting on now. So I ended up here with the Trellino Evo. To this day, nobody knows exactly what Evo stands for, but it does sound cool. It comes in three different sizes. I, of course, opted for the largest because I eat a lot and subsequently need to use the toilet a lot. But it goes beyond that. I chose the Trellino toilet for a few key reasons. It's super lightweight at approximately 10 pounds and it doesn't require any installation. I didn't even build a permanent home for it in the van as I like to kind of move it around wherever it's needed. It's so lightweight that I carried it four miles down this beach to find the perfect spot to film for you, the viewer. I don't know, it's super lightweight. Sometimes it serves as a footrest. Other times, like right now, it serves as a chair. I've even used it as a bowl to eat out of. Just kidding. When I sit on it, it feels like I'm just sitting on a regular toilet. And it's nice and tall for older people with potential mobility issues. In fact, I like this toilet so much that it's all I can use now. Even if I'm at a friend or family member's house, I still bring my Trollino with me and use that instead of their regular toilet. <laughs> and it doesn't even really look like a toilet. It's so discreet that one time I was actually sitting on it, taking a poop, my friend walked in and he didn't even realize it was a toilet. Hey man. Hey, why are your pants down while you're sitting on that super cool chair? This isn't a super cool chair, man. This is a toilet from Trollino. Huh? Toiletception. I also felt like this was the environmentally responsible choice to make. With great power comes great responsibility as it doesn't use any of the weird chemical stuff that cassette toilets usually use, and my poop is just gonna compost into a nice, tasty soil. Another strong selling point for me was this toilet costs less than half of the other composting toilets that I was seeing on the market. You know we love a good deal here at Dalton's Adventures. The Trellino overall so far is just a super simple, well-packaged pooping machine. Let's open this guy up and show you how it works. You open up the lid and see essentially two compartments. At this point, most people could figure out which way to face, but in case you can't, 
your butt goes over the big opening and your little wiener or lady wiener goes toward the small opening. It has two 2.6 gallon containers underneath each of these openings, one for your pee and one for your poop. With this amount of storage, I find this toilet works really well for full-time van or RV living. The pee gets separated into a leak-proof canister so you don't have to be concerned about any splashing. After you pee, you just spray a little diluted vinegar and give it a quick wipe. As for your poop, it drops into the bin which is lined with your composting bag. After you drop your number two, you do need to add a little bit of litter material of some sort. For litter material, you can use sawdust, peat moss, your little brother, dry coffee grounds, or about a million other things. Choose your favorite. This will dry your poop out and keep it from stinking. I should also mention that by separating the poop from the pee, you allow your poop to further dry out, preventing that horrendous sludge that's created when pee and poop mix. To access the containers, you can just remove the whole top piece and either remove the poop bag or the urine canister. Once you fill these bad boys up, you can just pour your pee jug in any available toilet and empty your poop bag on your neighbor's lawn. Just kidding, throw it in the trash. Think of it like dog poop or a dirty diaper. You probably know what to do with those. I'll generally throw the pee canister into my gym bag and bring that into the bathroom with me so people don't see me carrying a container of mysterious liquid into the bathroom. There's also a bit of storage space, at least in the larger version of Trilino, where I keep my extra composting bags. After that, just put a new liner on, put your pee jug back, and set the top back on. It has a nice soft closing lid to further prevent any odors after your business is finished. And that's all there really is to it. Bro, do you mind if I take a poop in that real quick? No, please, that's what it's here for. Come use my Trolina. Awesome, man, thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, man, it's really great. It has uh, two separate compartments. Yeah, no, it looks great. Yeah, and I, I just cleaned it, it doesn't smell at all. <laughs> does it smell? Completely smell free, believe it or not. Get out of town, and I don't even, like the design and everything, it looks so sick. It doesn't even look like a toilet, right? No, it looks like some sort of Star Wars thing. That's exactly what it was from Star Wars. This was on the Death Star. Good thing I brought my lightsaber. <laughs> Honestly, I've really enjoyed this toilet thus far. If I were designing it, I would probably add some sort of clear level on the exterior here so I could see how full the pee reservoir was getting. But at 2.6 gallons, it does take a pretty long time to fill up anyway. The biodegradable bags can also degrade fairly quickly if you don't put enough litter material in the bottom. And the last thing you probably want is that bag to rip as you're removing it and for poop to fall all over your van or RV. Normally that expression is kind of an exaggeration, but I think that really is probably one of the last things you want to happen. So make sure you line the bottom with some litter before your first poo. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. It's served me well for the last couple months. I've been pooping and peeing in this thing like nobody's business and it's holding up like a champ. If you guys are interested in learning any more or maybe getting one of these of your own, be sure to follow that link in the description below. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. I'm happy to answer any and all of them. And I guess that settles that. Smell you later. <laughs> Go ahead. When I first started looking at Van Top, Blech. It's so lightweight that I couldn't even use it for a workout. Eh, nah, it's not good. Yo, dude, I... <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Ready? What? Yo, dude, I need to take a poop. Can I use your... What is that? Trilino? <laughs> Yo, dude, can I use your Trilino to take a poop? Yeah, man. <laughs> Am I supposed to look at him? This is a super cool toilet. Trilino. <laughs> <laughs>